What's up, y'all? There has been a lot of Roblox drama in the past few days, so without further ado, let's just dive into the first story. Now, the first story we have is Roblox threatening to take legal action against a condo group. Now, I find this very interesting as Roblox has never done this ever. And if you don't know what a condo game is, it's basically um, Roblox sex. Now, I'm not really gonna go into further detail of what condo games are because, you know, do that yourself. So what Roblox is saying in this document is this person is constantly violating their terms of service and creating new accounts to evade the Roblox moderation. And Roblox says that they will not hesitate to take any and all steps necessary to stop your unlawful conduct, which basically means they're gonna sue the fuck out of him. In this document, there's a section that says, despite these prohibitions, you have repeatedly uploaded sexual condo games to Roblox and have at least one Discord server dedicated to such games. Now, this is the first time anything like this has happened, as Roblox never really, you know, sues anyone over Discord because Discord is a different company than Roblox. Now, this is a fat W, and the Roblox community is praising Roblox for this decision, and I think that this will kind of set a precedent for other condo games out there, you know, to stop making condo games, otherwise this will happen to them. And, you know, this is the first time Roblox has actually done anything that's, you know, a W recently. So yeah, Roblox is threatening a Discord server. Now let's move on to the second story, which is very interesting. Now I bet most of you already know what limited items are, which are basically items where you, you can sell for Robux. So in the past, you would basically get you know, your Robux instantly once you sell these items. However, Robux made an update where once you sell it, then the Robux will be pending. You won't actually get the Robux instantly. Now, Robux says they've done this to prevent people from transferring stolen Robux through limiteds. Many Robux players are very annoyed about this update. Now, this feature has been implemented for clothing sales and Game Pass sales, but this is the first time that limiteds are being affected as well. Honestly, I understand why people are mad about this because nobody wants to wait days for their Robux to arrive. Here someone says, I get the impressions on why they added this into the system, but I like to sell my limited ASAP to buy an on-sale item that is only for a limited time, and now we can't do that. That's disappointing and sad. Another person says, let's change everything that doesn't need to be changed. Things that need to be changed can wait. However, some people think this is a W decision, saying that this will prevent USD buying from innocent people buying stolen limiteds, and would make it easier for Robux to track down limiteds that were stolen. This is kind of like a 50-50 situation as people who have limited saying that this just makes the process more complicated and longer and then other people who don't have limited just do not give a fuck and they just want to keep the community safe. So let me get your thoughts in the comments because you know I want to hear what you think about this situation. And yeah some people are mad some people are happy and yeah Robux who Now the last story is very interesting as the plugin Rovalk is being accused of being backdoored. Now this allegation is kind of similar to the search box allegation that happened a few days ago, but this one isn't really confirmed. So if you don't know what backdoored means, it's basically when developers make code that, you know, that runs in the background without you knowing that can, you know, st steal your Robux, hack your account. Now, the reason why people think that this plugin may be dangerous is because the developer says that they do not make any money on this, um, this plugin. And they actually lose money by running the extension. Now, this allegation comes from the Twitter account Roblox Trading News, which is pretty popular. So many people are discussing and have mixed feelings about this uh, this allegation. With some people saying, "Yeah, delete that shit," and other people saying that they've used this plugin for many years and they've met the developer and he has good intents. Now, there is a screenshot of a conversation with the developer of the plugin, and he says that I don't want profit. That's not why I made this extension. I made it for the experience and for putting on my college applications. He also says, I don't do this for the money. I made this extensions for two reasons, to put on my college resume and to help out the Roblox training community. In the screenshot, he says that he isn't able to devex for some reason and that's the main reason why he just made it free. Okay, so I get why people think this plugin is suspicious because why would you ever wanna run something that loses you money? But I have used this plugin like a couple of years ago when it costed a thousand Robux and based on my experiences, I think it was I think it was pretty reliable. But don't take my word on it because who knows what could happen. Searchbox, 200,000 people got hacked. So if that can happen, 
this could happen. Cause the hacker of Searchbox is going around to other extension developers, paying them like money so they can install the same code that was used in Searchbox. So stay safe out there, man. To be honest, I don't use any plugins besides uh, BTR and Roblox Plus. That is the only plugins I use just to be safe. So I'm following my guts in this one. And if you want to be safe, you should delete it. But you know, if you trust it, you trust it. I don't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's your choice. And yeah, do you guys think that this is safe or could it be the next search blocks? Who knows? That's going to wrap it up for today's video, man. That's enough drama for today. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And you guys have a safe day, guys. Have a safe day. Bye-bye.